Hi, my name is Rudy. I'm from Winkler, Manitoba, and I have some stuff here in Brandon in the exhibit in process. I make artwork to express myself. I've always thought of it as a therapy. Um, coming up into a world where I didn't have um, a space to express myself, I really struggle with talking, so artwork was the next best thing. I wanted to open doors to conversations to happen in places where being who you truly are is seen as taboo, inappropriate, or unappreciated. In my life, I have to stick myself in a box and be who I need to be for other people so I don't disrupt the system of their world. And I learned that that's very difficult and very triggering and traumatizing for someone to go through all of their life. So I'm breaking out of that box and showing who I truly want to be. In this sketch exactly, I was just starting testosterone and with that it has to do with a whole bunch of changes, physical, emotional, and I wanted to portray how I felt in those moments, the euphoria, the oh my gosh, I'm, I'm finally doing it, I'm finally being me, I'm finally free. Um, so basically, I like to start out with an emotion or state of being that I'm in. I like to take references from online or photography that I really like, and I kind of just mush everything together. I also use paper and bobby pins and paper clips and just anything that I can find in my room or nearby that also could add to the element that I'm trying to portray. With transitioning, I had to embrace my feminine side as well as my masculine side. And with that, you kind of see the, the pinks for the girls and the blues for the boys. And I wanted to just mash them all up in one painting to express that you can have pink in your life and still be this masculine, strong person, or have blue and be this feminine and beautiful essence. You can see with the bird breaking free from a cage, just that emotion of like, I'm finally free, I'm finally doing what I wanna do, I'm finally being who I wanna be. The clips here, they represent trans youth, and it's a good way to put it on yourself and go out into the world, and so other trans people can see that you're a safe person to be around, that you are not transphobic, that you are a safe person, and they can be there for you and with you without having any judgment upon you. And I wanted to add that, just to have that little representation within the piece as well. And the words final form, it kind of really stuck in my head with um, the process of painting it. It's not my final form, but it is finally the form that I am in, that I want it to be in. On the sides of the painting, it says, when I get there, I'll know. And I feel like that's a good sentence to express how I feel. With this, I'm trying to imagine who I might become in the future with transitioning. I'm starting to get a little bit of facial hair, so I added that, an exaggeration, chest hair, arm hair kind of thing, growing out my hair in general, um, and just expressing who I want to be, having that top surgery, um, wearing a shirt openly, and in this hot weather, it's definitely something that I struggle with, not wanting to just rip my shirt off. <laughs> um, and with this piece, I wanted to express as well with the final form, the mashing of colors, the blues and the pinks, just showing that you can be feminine and still be masculine at the same time. I had just gotten out of six months of homelessness and I was sitting in this basement suite that I've known for the past seven months to be my home. And I could finally smell the roses get a fresh of breath air, even though it was dead center of winter. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to bring that color and that vibrance and that emotion to life. Me breathing in air and finally relaxing and calming myself down from the tornado of a storm that I just went through. 
I had trouble getting a landlord that was not outwardly homophobic or transphobic. And I had comments like, is this your friend? Are you guys going to be living in the same room together? Or is this your partner? Or is this your girlfriend? It's like, does it matter? I'm, I'm renting a home. I need a home. I, I don't need you to know my personal life or what I'm doing in my personal life. I just need a home and a place to feel safe and secure. And I finally got that with this piece. <laughs> yeah. Not to say every old person is homophobic or transphobic, but there are a lot of untold stories that need to be told in order for those people to understand that we're just people. We're, we're no one different other than how we express ourselves and who we want to be. When I was painting this, I was going through an identity crisis. <laughs> I had just found out from my grandfather that I am from Mexico, my family in general. Um, I am born in Canada, but my family immigrated from Mexico when my mom was six. And no one had mentioned that to me <laughs> as a 16 year old. So when painting these, I was expressing the different textures and the different skin tones in the hands and just losing grip with reality when it came to who I was identifying as and who I was being told I was. And it felt like I was being pushed into a box that wasn't meant for me. And I didn't feel right. So going into that, I went deep diving into Google and <laughs> found out a lot about my heritage and where my family came from and how I can contribute to the rest of the world with that. Ever since I was 11 years old, I told everyone that I knew that I was going to become a professional artist. And here I am. Yes. <laughs> um, and everything that I was told, like, it takes a lot of work. It's not going to be what you expect. The money isn't going to be what you expect. I pushed that to the side because I just wanted to express myself and really have an out outlet to do that. And I found it, and I'm gonna stick with it. And I'm always going to express myself through art, and that's who I am. I miss this piece of my home. You're gonna back soon. <laughs> my wall is so empty. <laughs>